Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is Displacement Part 3. And this time, we're going to take little chunks of 16th note displacements and apply them as fills so that we can get away with playing these kind of concepts without throwing our band off because they're a lot easier to hear in smaller phrasing. Not only that, we're going to make some grooves within these pieces, and then we're going to take some polyrhythmic phrasing and displace alongside them to make it happen. So let's get right to it. All right, so this is going to be the basic groove that we're going to use for pretty much everything in this video. Now for this first example, we're going to take that and we're going to play it within a four bar phrase. Now on the fourth bar, we're going to play a drum fill, which will be a 16th displacement. We're going to start the beat again on the E of three, and then we're going to come back in on beat one of the following bar. So it'll just be a little nearly two quarter note long drum fill of a beat displacement. Now, of course, to help you feel this better, it would be great if you could do this while playing your hi-hat in quarter notes with your left foot. Not only will it help you, but it'll also help your band in case they get thrown by it. I really like how that sounds. It's actually really groovy and just, you know, syncopated sounding. So let's turn that into its own groove. So that last bar that we played, the fourth bar, where we have the displacement over the second half, let's just make that as its own groove. Now, my favorite thing about that is that your bass drum is picking out groups of 316, which, if you've seen some of my polyrhythm series, you'll know can qualify as part of a 4 over 3 polyrhythm as we're playing 16th notes. Let's talk about 3 over 4 and 4 over 3. Now, if you want more 4 over 3, or if you don't fully understand how that polyrhythm works, check out Polyrhythms Part 1 in my playlist. We go into a lot more depth on that topic. So, what I'd like to do next is let's take that 316 bass drum idea, and let's continue it further, because I'm really enjoying how it sounds. So, let's take that 316 and play it across two bars, and we're going to keep displacing our hands every third time we play the bass drum, to follow through with it. So there's going to be multiple displacements over this two bar phrase that'll become its own groove. Now, of course, you can still do this using your hi-hat with your left foot, which will definitely help you feel it properly, and it'll help your bandmates not want to, you know, kill you, take you out back, beat you with a hose. Um, yeah, probably not fun. You're lucky if your snare drum's going to be there when you get back. They're going to steal your gig pay. It's just a bad idea altogether. So, yeah, get it happening with your left foot, too.
All right, so I hope this was fun for you guys. We just started to scratch the surface of, you know, rhythmic composition and beat editing and all that kind of fun stuff. So um, these examples may have been a little bit challenging. Just keep working at them. The more you play them, the more solidly they're going to work their way into your playing. So as always, have fun, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.